If you're new here, I want to show you something. I want to show you something real quick. Then when I first started Gematria, look at this. I said, who would who would do this? English is 74. Gematria is 74, right? Occult is 74. Masonic is 74. Lucifer is 74. But then so is Jesus, right? Jesus is 74. Cross is 74. Messiah is 74. Gospel is 74. Parable is 74. In the Bible, Jesus and Lucifer are referred to as the morning star. And again, in the language, this numerical significance, these related ideas, you know, dualistic. And think about what 74 is in numerology. It's 11, right? 11 is one, one. Ones are pillars. Pillars, duality, you know, symbolism. Joaz and Bakin, you know, Solomon's temple, the Masons, uh, the belief in God, right? Jews write God, G hyphen D, G's the seventh letter, D's the fourth, Jesus is the son that died on the cross, right? Out of the 50 states, only one sums to 74. It's the 33rd state, like Jesus on the cross at age 33, right? Our holiday, Independence Day, 7-4. Alphabetic order and rules numerology, Independence Day, 74. Run the alphabetic order in reverse, what happens? You know, Roman is 74, right? Run it in reverse with numerology. Is that which way it is, or is it the other way? Yeah, it's that way. Holy Roman Empire, 74. Also, 187, like Washington, D.C., like Society of Jesus. Holy Roman Empire, 218. They say it ended on the 218th day of the year. Donald Trump, the Jesuit at the Vatican by the numbers on the 144th day of the year. The guy that they coded 218 everywhere he went, right? Shout out to Zenith of the Alpha. We Put that all together in a big way early on. But you guys, this is what they're doing, man. This is what they're doing. Remember, Revelation, if you don't know this about Revelation, it's all based on the 39 books of the Old Testament, which is the Jewish section. In, in the Catholic Bible, there's 40. Again, if you guys are new here. The reason we know it's important when you run it in reverse is because of things like this. This is the alphabetic order in reverse and the alphabetic order in reverse of the rules of numerology. When you run the alphabetic order in reverse, Catholic is 145. With numerology, it's 46. In the Catholic Old Testament, which is the Jewish section, there's 46 books and 145 more chapters in the Old Testament than the Protestant Old Testament, which has 39 books. Remember, JFK was assassinated at age 46, the first Catholic president. He was number 35. Catholic 35 forwards, 46 in reverse. Biden is publicly the second Catholic president. He's number 46. He was elected November 3rd, 46 weeks after the Pope's birthday. And again, his son, Bo Biden, died at age 46, 201 days from the Pope's birthday. And then he was inaugurated on the 35th day of the Pope's age. You know, Holy See got the 35 in it with the most simple cipher. I got the 35, like Catholic, right? There's a reason they've done all this. It's all symbolic. I, mind's eye, I has three letters in it. There's three eyes, two on the face, one in the mind. E, Y, E, E is five, Y is 25, square root of five. Five is the third prime number, three, five, the digits in I. Genesis three, five, about God and the eyes. Again, you guys, there's a reason that they put these numbers on things. There's a reason with regards to the 145 and 46, there's a reason that after the world wars, which were instigated by the Catholic Church and the Jesuits, just like so many wars, including the American Civil War, which Lincoln wrote about, and that's why they leave out John Surratt from his assassination plot, the Jesuit. And did he even really die? It happened in a theater. I mean, the world's a stage. William Shakespeare, 187, like Society of Jesus, like Holy Roman Empire. But... Um, Again, Israel was created on 14 slash 5. 14 slash 5. And remember who declared Israel a nation? David Ben Gurion, 145. There's so much more to say about all this stuff. That's why I can go on in these 30 minute tangents that aren't even meant to be talked about in the video. But I mean, you guys, this stuff's not a coincidence. These are perfect rituals executed on the daily. So today on 15 slash 9, Yom Kippur, about atonement for sins, about judgment, they give us this shot, right? Old Testament, Revelation, number of the beast, mark of the beast, 666 in the Old Testament, man made on the sixth day. God regrets making mankind in Genesis 6-6.
The mark goes on the right hand or the forehead. That's what that's what's featured in this child's picture, right? And again, a, a form of a gun, computerized gun pointed at the forehead on Yom Kippur. Again, you guys, one more time. May 15, 2018, the pandemic simulation put on Bill and Melinda Gates, Johns Hopkins, the CDC, all the same players that you hear from on the TV dictating the course of the pandemic, the same ones that simulated this 666 days before it was declared on 15-5 like coronavirus and Christianity, Getting Claydex 113 like Johns Hopkins University, like coronavirus pandemic. It was declared on 11 slash 3. That number comes from the Talmud. It has to do with deception. The word revelation translates to apocalypse, like an epiphany. And apocalypse is also 113. Uh, I forget what there's an there's an alternate name for revelation. I'm gonna look up what it is for a future stream in the near future, but it equals one one three. I forget what this is because I haven't covered it for a long time, but I'm sure that's part of the ritual. And you know, Corona's got the 66 like number of the beast, like New Testament. Um, remember this story on June 6th? The CDC's COVID-19 vaccination card annotated. This was June 6th, 66, right? Number of the beast, 66, vaccination, 666, mandatory, 666, computer, 666. Remember, uh, the, the, the Pfizer vaccine got the full approval from the FDA. And, and again, you guys, the FDA's approval doesn't mean shit. Look up this book, Food Politics by Marion Nestle. Food Politics. She used to, she used to be the head and she wrote about what a fraud the FDA is. She said, it's just all bought and paid for. It's just all corporate bureaucracy. And anyway, that 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 vax that vaccine approval from the FDA, that was 66 days before Bill Gates' 66th birthday. And again, forwards and backwards, you guys, I want you to see something. I want you to see what it is when I write out number of the beast. You see the 6687? Remember, Bill and Melinda met in 87. They were divorced 87 days before Bill's 66th birthday. And then 66 days before his birthday, the full approval. And they've been syncing up this thing with Bill Gates the whole way. But number of the beast, 258. Remember, William Henry Gates, his full name is 258, as well as 201, as well as 84 like Jesuit, as well as 96 like Freemason. But last year, September 14th, the 258th day of the year, his dad died. That was 322 days after his birthday on 14 slash 9, like 149, skull and bones 149. They get their symbolism from the Templars. The Jesuits have the Templar cross in their logo. Again, it all goes back to the Catholic Church. 149 is the 35th prime, Catholic 35. Holy C 35. I 35, right? Going off on too many tangents, I forgot my point. But, um, uh, yeah, just, oh, oh, I got one more thing about Bill Gates. Bill Gates and the number of the beast. Bill Gates is 87. Remember, on the 87th day of his age, January 22nd, he supposedly got the vaccine. And, you know, January 22nd, Seattle's on the 122nd meridian. Satanic is 122. Think about where the Satanic Church was established. San Francisco 122, which is also on the 122nd meridian, just like Seattle. And it's interesting. San Francisco's got better weather because it's very, it's very south, but people who've lived in both cities know the weather is very similar. These coastal cities, a lot of gloomy weather, a lot of the same temperature things happening in, in these cities on the same meridian. But um, yeah, the Church, of, the Church of Satan was established in San Francisco. 